morning. Welcome to Wholesome Roots Farmstead. Today I'm going to take advantage of the abundance of eggs that we have and I'm going to make some homemade mayonnaise. It is a very simple, easy process. Follow along and you'll see. Homemade mayonnaise is one of the most simple things to make and so delicious. You start out with two farm fresh eggs and you put them into your wide mouth mason jar and you use your immersion blender. We're going to add a little bit of salt, vinegar, you could use lemon instead of vinegar if you want, but today we are making lacto-fermented mayonnaise. What that means is we need to use a live active culture. So either a Bragg's vinegar because it has a live culture or a homemade kombucha vinegar with a live culture will work just perfectly. Today we are using sunflower oil. You are welcome to use any type of oil that you prefer. Olive oil is a nice one, but it has a strong flavor, so we tend to use maybe a little bit of olive oil in some of our recipes, but try to stick with some less flavorful oils unless you want those flavors in your mayonnaise. So some non-GMO oil suggestions if you aren't able to get organic is sunflower or peanut oil. Those are the two that we most commonly purchase if we're not getting organic oils. So I have cracked my two eggs into my pint wide mouth jar. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. I can always add another pinch depending on taste. You can add pepper as well or garlic or mustard powder or anything that you like to flavor your mayonnaise with. I like the simple just vinegar and salt. Now this kombucha vinegar has developed a scoby on top, so I'm going to have to be careful not to pour the scoby in. And you just pour a little bit of that. It doesn't take much. And I actually blend that first and get the egg well beaten. Now from this point, you can do it one of two ways. You can either pour all of your oil in right now and then blend or you can slowly add your oil as you blend. I would prefer to do it that way. That way I get just the right amount of oil because I'm going to be watching for it to emulsify. Perfect mayonnaise texture. I did have to divide my cup in half. I guess my eggs were a little bigger than usual and I was afraid of spilling over. So I'm just going to go ahead and add oil to the other one and make two batches. And this is perfect. I'm going to taste it. Mm. I think it needs a little bit more salt. I am going to use a a little bit more of the pink Himalayan salt. And what I was saying about the lacto-fermentation is if you're using a live active culture, whether it is kombucha vinegar, Bragg's vinegar, your own homemade vinegar, or even a tablespoon of whey from your yogurt, and you add it to this, you then leave it out at room temperature for six to eight hours. And that is going to inoculate the entire jar with the lactobacillus, which will make this mayonnaise lasts much longer. You can expect your fresh mayonnaise to last from three days to a week in the fridge or if you do the lacto fermented version where you let it sit for six to eight hours at room temperature after inoculating it with a culture you will be able to keep that for weeks even possibly even months in your fridge if it'll last that long. Your family is going to love the way real homemade mayonnaise taste. Try it out and let us know what you think. Feel free to subscribe to our channel so that you can get more great recipes and tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching.